Hello everyone. Welcome back to the subject called Water Resource Engineering and we will be continuing with the unit Hydrology. The contents we will be discussing are Introduction and Importance of Hydrology Hydrological Cycle or the Water Cycle Precipitation, Forms of Precipitation and types of precipitation. So first we will be understanding what is this hydrology and why it is so much important. So what is this hydrology is? It is the science that deals with process of depletion in the sense you are utilizing the water and replenishment in the sense reusing this water by treating it. This we say it as the hydrology and this study of water it is in the phases that includes hydraulics, physics, chemistry and the metrology. The importance of hydrology. First the hydrology it is being used to find out the maximum probable flood at proposed sites. In the sense, if you are going to construct a dam or barrage across a river, we will be analyzing the flood, flooding areas and we will be constructing these dams and we will be storing the rivers, the waters. The variation of water production from catchment can be calculated and described by hydrology. Engineering hydrology enables us to find out the relationship between the catchment surface water and the groundwater resources. The expected flood flows over a spillway at a highway at a culvert or in an urban storm drainage system can be known by this very subject. It helps us to know the required reservoir capacity to assure adequate water for irrigation or municipal water supply in droughts condition. Wherever you find the area where there is no rainfall or there is no water, there you will be analyzing and you will be helping those areas by supplying the water in one or the other ways just like providing the channels, nalas or providing some underground pipelines used in connection with the design and operations of hydraulic structures. Hydrology is an indispensable tool in planning and building hydraulic structures. We will be discussing the water cycle or hydrological cycle. This is the process of circulation of water from ocean to atmosphere from atmosphere to the ground and back to the ocean again. The water cycle it consists of different phases of hydraulic cycle. It mainly consists of three phases. One is evaporation in the sense the sunlight it produces the heat and the heat produces the difference in pressure. Because of that difference in pressure, the water gets evaporated. That process we say it as evaporation. The next one is condensation. It is the merging of the different particles just like the minor dirt particle and the water vapors and it forms a cloud or the flock that we say it as the condensation. Next is precipitation, it is the raining or it might be the moisture which is being thrown out from the clouds, the condensed particles, it is being thrown out and it is being given to the ocean again or the water bodies. This is the water cycle, the first sunlight it is going to 
vary the temperature or the pressure in the atmosphere because of that the water gets evaporated and that evaporated water it will be in the form of evap uh, the vapors that vapors the water vapors and the dust particles they will be combined each other to form the flocks the different flocks forms the clouds the lighter clouds shows the light color in the whitish gray when it been getting heavier it shows the color dark gray and because of that heavy it starts showing the precipitation or it show it uh, releases the water from the cloud that we say it as the precipitation later that water which has been precipitated or the rain or the other forms of water it has been found on the ground it starts flowing towards the lower areas the altitudes the lower altitudes forming some nalas or streams those they will be connecting to the rivers again those rivers they will be connecting to the oceans similarly there is one more process or the phase we say it as a transpiration in this the plant wherever uh, it will be grasping the water from the soil or the ground and it will be storing for further food productions if excess water it is been it is been left behind that water it will be taken out because of the sun heat and that heat it will be converting that water droplet into the vapor that we say it as the transpiration the video it has been shown here if you can understand whatever i have shown the hydrological cycle it will be explaining in this then precipitation forms of precipitation types of precipitation we will be studying in this slide what is this precipitation is it is an, the any form of moisture reaching the earth from atmosphere that we say it as the precipitation any form and this it might be the water droplets or it might be the showers or it might be some type of stones these will be saying it as precipitation so we will be discussing in detail detailly the forms of precipitation and the types of precipitation the forms of precipitation are like this drizzle rain glaze snow sleet hail dew and the frost here the drizzle in the sense it is the sprinkling of water just like you will be sprinkling the water for the gardens or if you go for any barber shop before cutting the hair he will be sprinkling the water to your hair that type of sprinkle we will be saying it as drizzle the diameter of the water droplet it will be varying between 0.1 mm to 0.5 mm similarly when it comes to rain it is a precipitation in the form of water droplets usually nowadays it is been raining you can understand what is the difference between the drizzle and the rain the drizzle before it's been heavy rain whatever the spray it is going to show that we say it as the drizzle when it comes to the heavy rains in the sense heavy precipitation or heavy water droplets that we will be saying it as the rain and the diameter uh, varies between 0.5 to it will it might go above that 0.5 mm next is glaze it is both the combination of drizzle as well as the rain but this glaze you you will be having this in colder at colder atmospheres just like in uh, some ga the ghat areas the forest areas and in some icy or and crystal form it will be in visualized next you will be seen some snow this snow you will be seen in islands there uh, 
the precipitation it will be in the form of ice crystals next is sleet it is snow mixed with rain again all these snow and the sleet you will be seen in the islands and when it comes to hail hail it is the precipitation of ice cubes or the balls some areas you might have seen some uh, while raining uh, some uh, the ice particles the cubes or the balls they will be falling from the atmosphere those we will be saying it as the hail in kannada we say it as alikallu and this diameter it will be more than 5 mm next is dew this dew you will be uh, seen on the leaves the water droplets it will be stayed on the leaves it is because of the transpiration in the sense the difference in a atmospheric pressures this water droplet comes out from the leaves and it stays on the leaf and next is frost frost in the sense the whatever the dew whatever it is been what uh, the water droplet which has been stayed on the leaves it is been cold and uh, frost enough okay uh, it is shown as the frozen frozen dew these are the different types of the forms of the precipitation now we will be understanding what is this types of precipitation one is convective precipitation it is caused due to upward movement of air that is warmer than its surroundings orographic precipitation it is most important precipitation and responsible for most heavy rains in india now the monsoon rains whatever it is been coming in india this we say it as the orographic precipitation and there is one more cyclonic precipitation it's been happened during uh, some april may duration some rain it's been or precipitation has been done, been happened because of this cyclonic precipitation it is caused by lifting an air mass due to pressure differences so this ends the the hydrology part regarding precipitation and the forms of precipitation types of precipitation thank you